What's going on, everyone? Jerem here from The Quartering. We've got Mark Zuckerberg bending and kissing the ring of Donald Trump. We've got a epic Trump Thanksgiving Day message and troll, as well as a group of leftist women who gathered to primally scream at the water because of Trump's victory. They thought it was empowering or something like that. I don't really know how else to describe it, but... Happy Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, I'm still here working. That's the plan, friends. I'm going to have a couple videos for you today. Do want to remind you, today only, the biggest discount on our holiday gift boxes. If you're looking for a gift box, promo code wrap it up. Uh, just like your dad told you, young men. Uh, promo code wrap it up on the website. You can get this pre built gift box, which is our medium roast chocolate-covered espresso beans, peppermint bark, and our velvety hot cocoa, which is super popular. Or you can totally customize it and save 15% off. It will not be on a bigger discount on Black Friday. Today is the day you can get regular coffee, flavored coffee, cocoa, our premium candy and snacks, gears. Build it all up. Promo code wrap it up, 15% off. By promo Sale ends at midnight. So find some time today to get a couple of gift boxes Check a couple people off your list. Mark Zuckerberg meets with Trump at Mar-a-Lago. Interesting. Uh, really? I mean, I wonder why. It's almost like he knew. It's almost like uh, you can see Mark Zuckerberg's Trump visit was, quote, very disturbing. I, I don't know if I would say it was disturbing, Mark Zuckerberg dines with Trump at Mar-a-Lago after pushing for a meeting to discuss new administration. He was grateful for the invitation. Well, because he's afraid. Because Trump is on a revenge tour. And he is going to be pulling out that naughty list and checking it twice. Looking at Mark Zuckerberg in particular. The way he spent money in, in the elections the way his Facebook algorithm promoted certain content, demoted other content. Um, you know, he's afraid. It's an important time for future American innovation. Mark was grateful for the invitation to join President Trump for dinner and the opportunity to meet with members of his team about the incoming administration, a Meta spokesperson said in a statement to the Post. Trump Vance transition team did not immediately respond to uh, Trump's request. Stephen Miller, the incoming House Deputy, Deputy Chief of Staff Policy, confirmed that Zuckerberg met with President-elect during his appearance on Fox. Isn't it funny how, like, Trump is basically president right now? He's making other countries stop uh, immigration. He's uh, negotiating tariffs. He's doing all this stuff. He's getting a real kind of jump start on the, um, on his, you know, January... 20th takeover and I for one am really really I think it's really really smart he only has four years to try and get this country on the right path when we've had you know Joe Biden uh you know destroying this country uh for the last four years and Obama destroying it for eight years before that Trump's got a lot of work to do and it's like I've always said he's not gonna be able to fix everything but he's definitely going to be uh you know He's got to get to work. Then we have, unfortunately, here in my state, here in Wisconsin, women engage in, quote, mass primal scream in wake of Trump victory to, quote, release their pain. No! Um... Did they think that that was going to look good for them? Shout out to Lake Michigan. If this looks like it is, in Milwaukee, it is the dirtiest part of Lake Michigan. If you drive just 15, 20 miles north into maybe Sheboygan era, it actually looks clean. That's because Milwaukee dumps all their garbage wastewater into our beautiful lakes and rivers. Anyway, Wisconsin resident who thanked the Milwaukee Police Department for standing by, but the department told Fox News Digital that Oh, Whitefish Bay. Whitefish Bay. Okay, if you're from Wisconsin, you already know. But if you're not, Whitefish Bay is referred to as White People's Bay. 
it is a little island that is surrounded by you know regular people in the inner city people in Milwaukee but it's a bunch of rich white people that all live in like this little gentrified part of Milwaukee the primal scream event took days after Trump that won the election by landslide the Republican leader swept all battleground states including the Badger state the recent video echoes the notorious footage of protesters screaming towards the sky when Trump first won in 2016. Many of the pro- uh, protests were organized by a group called Refuse Fascism. All these women are probably worth six figures, seven figures a year in salaries uh, and are probably married to men who do actual work. And this is like their big, their big moment to get out there and really stick it to Trump. At the time, a Refuse Fascism organizer said that their screaming protest showed unity and solidarity. We are screaming in rage. We are screaming in pain, but we are screaming in unity. I mean, th- they thought that this was going to be a good look. By the way, don't forget, I'm telling you, the gift box thing will not, it won't, it'll be on sale on Friday, but not 15% off. So don't forget the links in the description. But anyway, we don't want to scream helplessly at the sky, but you literally did. Uh, we want to scream like a pack of wolves to bring down the administration. These people really do just live in their own world, don't they? I don't even really know like what <laughs> like these people live in their own alternate reality. It, it can't it can't be real. It just it just cannot be real. These people are absolutely positively bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. I say. Speaking of which, how's everybody holding up today? You know, I know the holidays are tough. This will be my second year without my dad. Uh, he passed away last summer, and uh, it definitely sucks. Um, you know, but uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm thinking about you out there. And um, you know, there later today, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Uh, there's going to be it's going to have like. I just want to let you guys know, I've got more to talk about Trump, but on all my channels, I'm going to live stream this like Trump meme montage and they'll have like a crackling fire, put it up on all your TVs today, you know, and the chat rooms, the chat will be open. It'll be a place for people to hang out and have fun. And, um, so make sure, you know, throw that up on your TV or just pop in the chat, you know, to to talk to people if you're feeling kind of uh, bored today or maybe a little bit lonely. Here we have Donald Trump's latest version of Happy Thanksgiving to all, even the haters and losers. Happy Thanksgiving to all, including the radical left lunatics who have worked so hard to destroy our country, but who have miserably failed and will always fail because their ideas and policies are so hopelessly bad that the great people of our nation just gave a landslide victory to those who want to make America great again. Don't worry, our country will soon be respected, productive, fair, and strong, and you will be, more than ever, proud to be an American. I mean, the, <laughs> it's just so great. Today, the mass, vast majority of Americans, along with the free world, are so grateful to have you back. Have a voice. This is the longest run of times ever I've seen. I mean, triggered much. You have Melania serving up the election map. Um, you know, I'll never love another president again. Uh, thank you for the message of unity and patriotism, sir. Another great president, Ben Franklin, held hands with Christopher Columbus at the first Thanksgiving 300 years ago today. Shout out to three-year letterman. Uh, you know, you're an embarrassment. Okay. Here's the Trump years. You got to delicious steak Biden years you got chef boy rd with spaghetti and meatballs you know what i don't care what you guys say i like chef boy rd i like their meatballs i know it's probably fake meat and i know it's terrible for you but every once in a while you know i don't mind it sure a delicious you know bone in ribeye or something like that would be good too but like i don't accept your divisive thanksgiving message no one has divided us more than Trump. Uh, what? You know, I mean, 
Not everyone goes home for Thanksgiving. That's why I work today, by the way. I know there are a lot of soldiers around the world. There's law enforcement. There's post workers. There's truckers. There's people in retail. There's, I mean, there's a, you know, million people, millions of people have to work today. So that's why I work today, obviously, too. Uh, this hit like the good old days. It's good to have, you know, Trump tweeting again. 300,000 likes in three hours. I'd say that's pretty good. The last time he tweeted was a couple of days ago um, after defeating all of his, you know, ridiculous federal lawsuits. It'll be interesting to see. This also, Trump says Mexico's president has already agreed to stop migrants crossing into the United States through her country. Very productive conversation. Gee, I wonder why, I wonder why Joe Biden wasn't ever able to pick up the phone. I wonder why Joe Biden was never able to pick up the phone. Meanwhile, some losers are picking up the phone and Trump's cabinet picks are being targeted with threats on their lives and swatting and hoaxes and all sorts of stuff like that. I, I'm sure it's a bunch of far righties doing that though, right? A bunch of far right. You hear Lee Zeldin, a pipe uh, threat, a pipe uh, thing that goes boom threat against me and my family at our home was sent with a pro-Palestinian themed message. So it's coming from the radical left. I mean, uh, they can cope and see all they want. I don't like to speed up time these days, especially as I get older, but I'm really looking forward to Inauguration Day. I'm really looking forward to getting uh, the adults back in charge. Don't forget, get your coffee brand coffee gift boxes. They're the perfect gift for friends, family, gift exchanges, people at the office. It's 15% off with code Wrap It Up today only. So I know it's Thanksgiving, but <clears throat> you know our Black Friday sale will not give you 15% off. So if you want to save the most, you can pick up our pre-ordered one, our pre-built one, or you can totally custom build it. It's absolutely a premium product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.